Hello YouTube, I thought I'd do an update on my 275 litre aquarium. Live rock is now in with some dry rock. This didn't escape or anything, I just bunged it in nice and gently so it don't break glass obviously. Um, I got myself some media as well. It is the, well it's broken. It is the Brightwell bio plate. I want more than them since I put that in, it's gonna already phone me. But yeah, and I put sh hundreds of um, cocoa pods in, actually, hundreds of them as well. Um, but yeah, nothing is. I had this weird looking creature in this rock here, in this little hole here. Um, it's really, that's, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful colour. It was like. Um, purpley yellowy colour. I thought it was a flatworm, but flatworms are white. I don't know what this is, it's got no like blue legs on it. And it comes out every so often, but it didn't come out. But yeah, I've got one of them pest starfish somewhere, wherever it's gone, but yeah, it's just the loyal rock at the minute, and some dry rock. This little piece here come out my, um, my other, my other little nano aquarium, nano tank, just to hold it up. But it's sturdy as hell, ain't moving anywhere. But it isn't scaped or anything like that. I've got to get some more, obviously, to scape it. And I did put the live rock in just pure RO water and give it a scrub down to see anything come off. And no little thing come off it. But yeah, I've got some like weird looking crap now coming out right there. If you can see that little white thing, I don't know what the hell that is. Weird looking thing. I don't know, is it Aptasia or something? I'm not too sure. Might be. Might be Aptasia. But yeah, I've got no other little critters or anything. I've got some red red stuff coming through on that. Purple stuff, like you can see all over this rock here. All purple and done. Lovely jubbly. Well, I take my tank cycled perfectly. But I think I'm not. I don't put anything in this year because I don't know if I should go bare bottom more. Go with some live sand. I've still got some spare live sand, but if I do go live sand, I've got to get some more, obviously. Got some of the Carib Sea stuff. My floor is an absolute mess with all the crap. But yeah, I've got some other little things in my aquarium, in my little nano tank, but a bit overstocked now. I got some purple pulse and xenia. I got another lovely purple and green hammer. Blue macromus with a yellow stripe. I got two of them. I got myself a damsel. Stripe damsel, I think it's called. I think it is, yeah. Bangai damsel or something it's called. And I got myself a blenny as well. Um I know my it's overstocked in here now, well over. But I do to, do do um, two water changes a week. I've got ten percent without fail anyway. Um, where's my blender gone? Ugh. Oh, he's up there. There he be, look next to this crab. That's the black one with the yellow sh tail. Doodle little thing, nice little doodle little thing. But I did frog some obviously, um, some it it stuff in there. I know you shouldn't, what I shouldn't have done, but I did just be on the safe side because I put me in with my other stuff. And I didn't want to get any white spot or anything. But they look all good, they ain't got no white spot on them. No one's not scratching or anything like that so far, so so far so good. Not on wood, but yeah, that's all good. Clowns are doing all right. Yeah, I love this. Love this hammer. It's really nice. Bang guy cardinal or something. Weird name. But cool look, looking fish. Uh, yeah. My fire shrimp, and my mate, 
Yeah, yeah, like, right. Oh, and the blender's not going to come over, is he? He always comes out, he pops his out, he's pretty dude, he's just like, he just played piggy boos where you go, look, he, oh, hello. <laughs> awesome. Let me see, right. Oh, God damn, bloody black, black fish, black and white fish, ice fish, clown fish, stop going crazy, chill out. Yeah, that's the. That's it so far. It's getting there slowly. Just gotta get my light. My protein skim. I went to get and get my protein skim, but it hasn't been delivered. I'm going for the Bubble Mag Curve Five. It should turn this tank over completely, because the Bubble Mag Curve Five is rated for 500 liters, and this is only a 275. So that is a big oomph for this tank. But I definitely need to get some more live rock or some more dry rock or whatever. But I am definitely putting this stuff, all that in there. It's got to escape it all up. But yeah, I just got to get my power hit, get myself another, get myself a wave maker in there. But yeah, that's what I hope. I just want to see if that bloody thing comes out because that's actually really beautiful colours. I don't know what, if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And this is in that little. In there somewhere, I'm not too sure whereabouts it is. Oh, actually, it's coming out. Here it comes. Ah, oh, sweet. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. I don't know if that's. Can you see that, guys? I'm just I'm using my phone, obviously. I don't know what that is. It's got some really nice colours on it. But obviously, the phone's not giving it its justice, to be honest. Because it's like pinky. Orangey white. It's pretty doody. That's not a worm. It's like like it's like a like your um like a centipede looking thing. Pretty doody. But I don't know if it's bad for the well if it's bad for in here obviously my like, in in the tank. But you know, yeah. But I've got well I've got one of them pissed starfish, only got one in there. And that's the only one thing I've got in there as well. Obviously, I've got some, probably got some Abtasia coming through. I'll be definitely dosing some Abtasia in there. But other than that, no other pests so far. No crab looking pests or anything, or worms or anything like that so far. Because this was in some RO water when I got it, when I picked it up. Then I put it in some more RO water and scrubbed it. Same with the dry rock as well, done the same thing. But I don't know. So, yeah, if you can um, comment about this little creature looking thing. Oh, it's gone back inside. Bummer. He usually actually come out on the glass and then go back, sit, go back into his little hole. But, yeah, that's that anyway. But. I don't know, I don't even know what the hell that is broken. But apparently it's, uh, that's perfectly fine, it works the same, I've got nothing to worry about. But this foaming, as ever since I put that, put this in there today, well it's been in there for what, about 3-4 hours and it's still foaming, I had to put this white thing on to, um, and take the, take the, um, sock because I was foaming like it was like, been a protein skimmer or something. That was going mad. But obviously it's because of this. And it's got a load of pods in there as well. Absolutely loads. I've got hundreds in there, I don't know. I think I've got about five five to seven five to eight hundred no seven to eight hundred pod uh, cocoa pods in there. But this is cycled because that's all cycled. Because I've done a test, it took some more rest. Basically ready to go, but I'm not putting anything in there yet. That's why I get some more live rock in there. But yeah. Let's go back over to the tank. Oh, 
I just actually love this tank. I just love these fish and definitely the corals. Beautiful. Bloody bubbles. Mm, yep. Can't stand them bloody bubbles. Oh, there he is, he's back out again. There he is, my little blendy dude. Hello, mate. He is awesome, he's got a personality now. He's just like playing picky boos with you. He's funny as hell. His eyes go like the tentacle does. I can't see how this coral, this torch coral ain't like stung him or anything. Yeah. But. He's like his little spot, but main spot is this bit here. His main bit he goes in. He loves that spot. Let's zoom back out. Yeah, you know, blue damsel with their white stripe, uh, white stripe, yellow stripe. Chilled. Apparently these are semi-aggressive or something. Right, he seems alright so far. There's two in there, and there's one at the back there. Quite good fair size. I hopefully next week the fish will be in the tank in the in their 250, uh, 250, 270, 275, and then I mean, obviously the corals are going to be staying in there. The sand will be taken out, obviously because it's going to be my quarantine tank. And yeah. Boom. Over now, guys.